there's a secret in life I want to share with you. And that is, get the joy of the Lord. Receive the joy of the Lord and learn to have a good time wherever you are. Because wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> so if, if you're not having fun in your circumstances, you just haven't learned to look at it differently. I have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old. And I, I love playing the drums with a passion. It's something that God put in me to do. But nothing has given me greater joy in the whole world than to be a father. That is my greatest thrill on planet Earth. And I love it. And, I, and just in a small way, God gives us a piece of himself because he must love being a father as much as I do, or even more, because he created the whole concept of family. And one of the things I've been teaching my kids recently, I taught them, I've been teaching them since they were three how to memorize important words, integrity and faithfulness and favor and persistence and wisdom and strategy, and I want to train them for life. But one of the things that I taught them was that little saying, you know, the glass half empty, half full. They're only five and eight years old, but they understand that the circumstance itself never changes. It's just how you decide to view it and how you decide to look at that situation. So even in the midst of trials, which I've been through many, and tribulations and pain, there's always a way in which if you give your heart to God and trust God through that circumstance, there's always a way in which you can get that joy and you can go through life. You don't have to go through life miserable. It really is, there, there really is peace with, with gi giving your heart to God through unpeaceful circumstances, but it's an act of will. And just like I've loved my children since the day where they, they were born, and I have poured immense love out into them, I could never make them love me back. Because if they didn't love me back freely, it wouldn't be love. And so that's where I think it must be hard being God. Because you give people things, you teach them things, you show them things, but in the end you cannot manipulate them. You cannot make that choice for them because then they wouldn't be free. And love can only reach its highest form of expression through the advent and the concept of free will. So we have to choose things. And uh, so joy is one of those things. And um, when I play the drums, I feel the joy of the Lord. I feel, I feel the power of God. And I, and I feel connected to him in a musical way. And when I speak, I feel like my purpose is fulfilled.